Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to prepare the normalized difference water body index that is NDWI using the Landsat data set as well as we can able to prepare using the Sentinel data set. So when we'll prepare the normal difference water body index, we can able to extract the water body from that NDWI. So how to do that, that we'll see today. So in the previous video, I have shown you in my channel how we can able to prepare the normalized difference vegetation index and also how we can able to download the Landsat data and Sentinel data that also I have explained. If you didn't watch this video, you can watch this video. So you'll better understand about this process. Okay. So first we require to add a study area shape file. Okay. So if you are having any study area shape file, you can able to add from here shape file. Okay. If you don't have a study area shape file, you can able to create a study area shape file as well here. Okay. Like suppose I'm interested, I'm interested to create a study area for this. Okay. Up to this. So let, I will delete previous study area. So this study area I'm having that I will delete. So from here we need to delete and now <clears throat> I will create from here. So just draw a rectangle option is there. So like that, you can able to draw a rectangle. Okay. After draw a rectangle, you will see this rectangle is added here. And we need to provide a name of this shape. So I have provided the study area name to this. Previously, I have provided study area name. So I'll provide same study area name here. So this var, that is a variable study area. And we have this polygon. And after that, when you will add your study area, then this function will helpful to calculate the NDWI. Okay. So this normalized difference function. So this normalized difference function will help to calculate the NDWI. So band three, okay. Surface reflectance band three is a green and surface reflectance five. That is a NR band number five. If you'll see the formula for NDWI, then you will see that green minus NR divided by green plus NR. Okay. Green is a bad number three and NR is a bad number five. So if you'll go to see the Landsat 8 data set, 8 data, you will get the idea about that. So in the search, you will see that the band number in Landsat 8 is a five number is NR and green. So this band is helpful to calculate the normalized difference water body index. Okay. So we need to add a function here. After that adding function, we need to select this image collection. Okay. So we are having this Landsat 8 data set. Okay. And after adding this image collection, so where to take this image collections? So if we'll go to here in the data set platform, there are different kinds of data set is available. So in the Landsat data set, there are Landsat, uh, different, different Landsat series are there. Landsat 1, Landsat 2, Landsat 3, till Landsat 9 is there. We are downloading the Landsat 8 data set. And from that, we are able to prepare the NDWI map. So here, if you'll see the Landsat 8 OLI, and you can able to see the details here. If you'll click on the surface reflectance, then you will get this so this you can able to get from here. So let I will come back to the script. So after adding the image collections, I want to filter for a particular time frame. So here you, we need to add a date. So like I'm interested to prepare NDWI from 2023 third month in between fifth month. So I want a cloud free image. Okay. So due to that, what we can able to do, we can able to provide this range. And after that, I want to this clip with my study area. I want to search this after adding the date. I want to do this with my study area only. Okay. So filter bound study area. So this is my study area. So from the image collection, you just search for my study area, this particular date. Okay. Then this function will helpful to convert digital number into reflectance okay so this function will helpful convert digital 
into surface reflectance reflectance here is the map dot calculate ndvi this function will calculate the ndvi and after that we'll get the mean of that ndwi okay so after getting the mean we want to clip with the study area so this is our study area so after preparing the ndwi so it will prepare for a one tile and from that we want to clip only with my study area so i'm providing this after that extract the water body only so i want to extract only water body from it so to extract the water body we need to provide ndwi clip and the value above zero will represent the ndwi okay so retain the value which are above the zero greater than zero it will represent as a water body area and this map dot center 10 means i want to zoom my study area up to 10 okay after that minimum value maximum value is given so where there is a minimum value you will get the green color where there is a maximum value you will get the blue color okay and what water body will export for that it will show a blue color and after that i'm interested to export this okay whatever the map will get from that if i want to export the nd vi so to extract the nd vi we need to provide this export dot image to drive we can send this to drive this resolution is 30 meter region is study area i want this for my study area only and after that geotiff I want GOT format and I want the maximum cell size should be if my area is large then this cell size max pixel function will help. So let will run this. So if I'll uncheck this, you will see we have Now you can able to see we have prepared the NDWI and you can able to see in this image only these values are above zero. Okay. So only this value is highlighting here and which are exported the value which are above zero. So two things are here. Okay. Let will see some other areas as well. Okay. So here also you can able to create the study area let previous study area i will delete from here okay and this study area will add then add here as a study area then enter and click on run <clears throat> so if i'll uncheck this you will see here is the water body available and if I'll uncheck this NDW you will see only water body area okay so this value is not showing because uh, might be whatever image we have choose that time the water body will not available here at this place okay so and this is the NDWI so only the value we have exported which is above zero so similar thing we can able to do using the sentinel2 data set okay and if you want to export this you can export from here you provide where you want to save like i'll provide ndwi 2023 and this is the name of the file and just click on run so it will export to the drive so same way we can able to prepare this using the sentinel2 data set so we need to add a study area here so this is my study area shape file then call a function that is image dot normalize difference so in the sentinel band 3 is a green and band 8 is nir okay so if you'll we'll search here sentinel2 satellite bands then you will see the band number 8 is NR and band number 3 is green. So same band is selected here. And after that, from the Copernicus, so that image collection from the Copernicus, 
we have selected the particular date i want the image for this particular date and i want to filter it with my study area then this function is remove the cloud we want to remove the cloud and after that we are getting the mean value of ndwi and i want to clip with my study area okay so same if you'll see here the same thing is there that here also we have clip with the study area and here also we are clipping with the sentinel 2 image so this sentinel 2 we are clipping and i want a value above zero so wherever you will get the value above zero you add a mass to it means that after adding a mass it will be separate and this is the zoom lever 10 the same color minus one we provided green and the highest plus one we have provided a blue and also whatever the water body we are exporting we are providing the blue color to the water body you can able to change the color whatever you want and we are exporting this to particular drive okay so this is my study area and if same way we can able to run after run you will see the same thing again so this is the ndwi and we are exported only water body portion from it so this is a very easily we can able to prepare the normalized difference water body index using this sentinel and landsat data set you can also export this so after exporting it will available in the your drive and you can able to download from there and you can able to open this ndwi in rjs qjs Erlas imagine or if you are having any different software, you can able to open this because there is a GOT file format. So how to open and how to process with it, I have shown in previous videos that is NDVI. You can also refer this video. So if you are having any doubt regarding all these things, you can ask me in the comment sections. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.